right, everyone. Hello and welcome to the seventh round for HRL Indy Hog back on an oval. This is going to be halfway done with the ovals on the season. There's three in uh, once we're done with this race and three more after it. So, yeah, we'll be right at the halfway point here. This is the Milwaukee Mile historic track halo version quite interesting didn't know exactly how this is going to turn out and it turned out a little bit differently than i expected you'll see in the race but uh i liked the way it turned out this track ended up being uh very different and uh i like how again been saying it uh all our well all our tracks really but all the oval tracks so far have all been fun but in completely different ways and have, have ran completely different um it's been kind of refreshing too because we have so many like outside ovals uh recently we've had a lot of inside ovals we've had a little bit of both but a lot of inside ovals in the hogs, and I don't mind it. I don't mind it. They've ran pretty well so far, so I actually actually think it's pretty good. All right, but let's get into the first moto again. Of course, I said this uh, seventh round of the season. Second stop on our Wisconsin tour in the beginning of October. And the winners of the heats, uh, Hunter took heat number one, and Detail took heat number two. So those are heat winners there. Uh, Hunter taking his, I'm checking it, second heat win in the season. Uh, detail taking his third there so they're gonna have good starting position in this one let's go through the starting position so on your right then your left that's how i'm gonna call it it's hunter then detail and then here in the second row we'll shout him out if you guys remember him from halo 5 uh we'll pull it there you go you can see it elite is back and i hinted at that in the last couple of videos saying that he was supposed to be uh returning and he's actually here and so, yeah, making a return to the Hogs. Probably, you know, I didn't even ask him. I wonder what his, uh, what his reaction to that was, coming back to the Hogs of all things. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, that'd probably be a bit of a wake-up call there. Like, oh, wow, this is different. Um, but yeah, so he's there. Inside second row returning. Luke on the left. Alternate colors. few alternate colors for people coming out. Elite changed his to, to differentiate himself from Hunter before the race started. Uh, sorry, this row is a little weird. So it's going to be Soul, then Roman. I think the ro uh, the rows are just a little jumbled. Soul, then Roman. Uh, Camby, then Armada. Slaunch, then Coop. And then Matt's. Matt's green looks... I couldn't even see it. It's a lot more visible here in the, the theater. But uh, but Matt there in the back row. So some alternate colors coming out for a few people. We're going to be doing a 91 checkpoint. 91 checkpoint. 45 lap race at the Milwaukee Mile Classic Circuit here. Going to be going green. There we go. Green flag again. Hunter in that inside row. Winner of Heat 1 trying to take an early lead. But you'll see quickly. Uh, this track is interesting. There's lots of different lines. And there's one line that I would say is like generally the better line. But it's, it's close. Like the track's pretty competitive. And I think you guys will enjoy watching the racing on this one. We already have a four wide... Oh my god, we have some aggressive battling throughout the field already at the end of lap one. Loving what we're seeing, and Detail actually has a really nice run. He takes the lead there. Like, while all that battling was going, Hunter had such a nice gap. He made some huge gains, and I almost missed to call it out because it happened so quickly, but he takes the lead from Hunter there, so Hunter going back to second. Meanwhile, we have some... Oh, that was... Wow, that was some intense screen lag on that one. Oh, big dive right there. Oh my god. Oh, a rocking. I think that was Hunter and Luke on that one. That's a pretty intense battle in the first turn. A couple two wides. It's Hunter and Elite going for second and third right now. Elite running in podium position early on in the race. In his first race back, he's going to be pretty happy with that, I would say. You can see it's an interesting track. Like, there's a. Let's get some onboard action. Um, it's an interesting track. Go on board with Roman here. And we'll see some of these different lines come into play. There's a bunch of different lines that you can do. You can do a line where you run it almost kind of like a Martinsville. And you go to the inside and you let off in the middle and then gas it out. You can do that. There's a line where you can like line it up and, and kind of like swoop from outside to inside and don't let off the gas. And that can actually be pretty quick too. It's probably the hardest line to do. It, it can be really fast. It honestly might even be the fastest line. But it's really hard to do correctly. So I don't think we will see it as often. That line's pretty good. Um, honestly, the middle, just running the middle is, like, not bad. And then even, like, the far outside, you can really, uh, pick up some speed. So, it's, it's a fun track because, uh, again, like, even though this, uh, that, that Martinsville, like, inside line ends up becoming preferred, and I think we'll, we'll see, we're already starting to see it, we we'll see a lot of people go towards it, um, the other lines don't stop. 
like people people run the other lines and like have success with those other lines and uh it's interesting on restarts too this track is a very i think a lot of people thought it was more inside dominant than it really was on restarts i think this track is a pretty uh similar to indie which we did last week another track where the the choose rule is actually pretty even on the restarts as well so it's another interesting factor think about here so hunter must have fallen back i'm not sure what happened Battle up front. Detail's got a massive lead um, already. Already putting together a nice gap there. And second is is Elite. And third, Luke. Fourth, Slaunch. Did Hunter fall back to fifth? I think that's Armada. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Um, but we'll see the different lines coming out here already. We see Luke trying to work the inside now. Switching it up, we see Slaunch trying to work the inside. Luke going for a bit of a different line. Elite's just holding strong on that higher line, almost middle line. But now Slaunch gets that run. Luke's line didn't work out, but Slaunch isn't able to get that momentum there the way he wanted to. But look, he gets this really nice run. This is what I'm talking about on this inside line. So while Luke was battling with Elite, now it might be... Oh, the crossover! Very close, but Slaunch gives the room. And now we'll have a battle between Luke and Slaunch for third place. Luke just keeps just a nudge there. Just a smidge on the inside. Slaunch now has to go to towards the outside. We'll see how he can battle back here it's pretty difficult to do and interesting i i like it he kind of goes he tries to do almost like a crossover of his own and then he uh settles in decides to uh elect to go back to the inside and see if he can find something there or wait for another mistake another interesting thing to factor in is that inside lines got some speed uh but something that can happen with the inside is it's very easy to make mistakes like i think it's a lot easier to stay consistent uh, running the other line and then right there too when you're battling with someone like with Slaunch experience there with Luke if you get off on a weird breaking point um, you know that can hurt you as well but then also when you're on your own uh, you can miss your breaking point miss your shift and then that can cost you as well uh, so even though you know even though that inside's pretty strong and even though it's probably the strong line it even has its own uh, factors to it so what like uh, 27 on the checkpoint so still a long ways to go really uh, early in the moto here and as you can see a lot of this front field has uh has strung out but let's take a look at this we might as well because it looks kind of intense this uh this back battle is insane i'm kind of shocked to see roman i think it's roman um on the inside there involved in this um i'm pretty sure yeah i think it is I, roman had speed in the heat i wonder must have got cheesed in some way or something i wonder how he got this far back um but as you can see he finally hooks up that inside he's going to get around it here coop trying to hold off matt behind him and they were having a really good battle there for a bit. That three wide in the back, they were just, uh, they didn't get the memo. Everybody else singled out. They were still uh, still going at it. Let's go update through the field while I take a look at this. As you can see, um, Yurski has a pretty thick lead, fittingly for him. Second is Elite still, but the lead's definitely opened up a little bit. Now, Elite's gotten a bit of a gap on Luke from when the battle with him and Slaunch happened, but it's still pretty... It's not like... It's not like gapped. Like, I think I think Detail's got a pretty good lead. Um, but uh, but the battle between Elite and Luke's still kind of manageable if, if Luke could have a run, but Elite's just running so strong right now. Meanwhile, Slaunch has lost a little bit on that podium position... I don't know if he had some rough breaking points or what, but he lost a little bit there. So he's kind of in his own area code at the moment. Uh, can be rounding out that top five. I would say the same for him. Now there's Hunter in sixth. So Hunter trying to work it back. We got a battle. Let's take a look at it as we're doing our update through the field. Uh, we got to see these battles when they do happen. So it's Soul and Armada here side by side. You'll get to see. And it, it's an interesting battle track because, again, the inside's like so strong, but the outside gets really good runs. And I think Soul here... One of those drivers that's not going for that inside line. And some people struggled with it. Some people caught it really quickly. Um, some people not adapting to it as quickly. And you can see here with Sol and Armada battling, it's that inside line does help out the the passes a lot more on this track. Like it when you're not capable of running that line, you can make time, but dude, look just look at this. It's so difficult for for Sol to like, get ahead of Armada and then clear him. Like, it's just so hard for him to do. Oh, running him super tight right there, but nice and clean. Um, no contact with the wall or anything. Very nicely done. And you can tell Soul's just trying... I think he even got loose right there. He's trying his hardest to just get in front of him. And maybe he needs to go for, like, a slide job. Maybe he needs to 
try... Oh, okay, you know what? Different uh, mindset. He did agree that he needed to try something different, but instead he's like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to try this inside. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. And he goes for it, and he seems to run it pretty decently. And as you can see, now he's getting those runs, he's getting that reset, and he's just speeding away. Just absolutely speeding away. And Armada, oh my god. And Armada's definitely going to be losing some time as well um, with how he's drifting it so hard. But Soul looks like to be on a charge. Let's get back on board with him. Um, because I think Hunter in front of him is not getting that inside line down as well at the moment. Um, so he's starting to lose a little bit on Camby. And opposite... Soul is starting to gain a lot on Hunter. He he made that move. He's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to try it. Try that inside. See if I can figure it out. And he seems to have it down pretty decent, at least. And he's really making some gains. But something must have happened here because now he's had a few rough runs. Maybe he missed a shift or two. He he had it figured out. But look, Armada's here now. So maybe he missed a couple shifts. And that's exactly what I was saying. Like, that inside line has speed. Uh, but you can mess it up. And, you know, obviously when things are single wide like they are right now, you know, not going to hurt you as much, but when you mess it up in a pack or on a restart early in the race, something like that can really cost you. So it can be a it can be a risky line to run, especially early in the race, especially behind people, because like I was saying, like people have those different breaking points. You can you can lose time following people on the inside, like even though it's the faster line overall, um, when you're in a pack, it, it, can, it might not be it might not be in a pack. And we'll, we'll see how that plays out when we get it packed up again, whether there's a caution in this moto or in the second race, because, you know, we've seen this before. I think our Halo Reach, even though it's different, <laughs> different vehicle, different game, uh, different version of the track, I, th I think our Halo Reach Milwaukee Mile also uh, had a, well, I think it went green all the way. I think it went green all the way. And so far, our first moto of this is over halfway done, and it's, it's going green so far and looks very clean. So we'll see if we can repeat that here. Although something to factor in is... Uh, no motos. It was just one race. It was one. It was one race on two different tracks in a night for that that reach throwback. So that was a little different. No motos. It was just the one race. Obviously, here we have motos. So that's a little bit of a difference. Even if this if even if this race does go green, there'll be a second moto um, for that to you know try to try to be different in that second race. Now it looks like it's gapped out again, and let's see here. So yeah, you can tell detail. Yeah, he hasn't. It feels like he got a really big gap early, and now he's just kind of managing it. I feel like he hasn't lost, you know, I feel like he hasn't gotten away from Elite too much now. Um, he He's definitely grown it a bit, but I think it was mostly, like, early in the race he really got away. And now he's got such a lead that he can just kind of chill and just run it. Meanwhile, Elite, something must have happened there, because Elite's got a... I think Elite's grown the gap on Luke. It's not over yet, but I think he's grown that gap as well. I think the gap with Solange and Luke's grown a little bit. Um, Cambi and Solange seems to have been kind of even for a bit. Soul is now starting to track down Hunter again. Let's get on board with that because this might be our battle. And right there, you could tell Soul going for the, that, that momentum steal on on Hunter. And curious if that was the right play there. I think it might just be better for him to just run that inside. And here he de he decides to do that in three and four, changes his mind. So we're getting we're getting really close to the end of the race. I mean, yeah, this might go green all the way. We're, we're getting really close at this point. There it is. There's the run. And yeah, Sol, he's picking up some spots, and he's got to be pretty happy with this, I feel like. Uh, you know, being so far back initially, but just making up spots, making up time, getting these passes under these green flag conditions, that's not, it's not always very easy to do in these oval races because a lot of people just... Uh, a lot of people don't even know how to run it exactly because, you know, we don't have those those green flag runs super consistently those those like really long green flag runs in the oval so it's a it's a whole different ball game you know when they string out like this you don't you don't race it necessarily the same as you would when we're doing like cautions every so often and restarts and stuff like that it's very different so for a lot of these drivers that could be kind of difficult to adapt to oh running really tight right there i don't know if that i don't think that was on hunter really i i don't know i think soul was trying to find a crossover there and just couldn't find it Detail with some momentum from Road America last week and with uh, 10 laps to go now. Oh, now the gap. Something must have happened. Detail either put on the Jets or something happened with Elite because this gap has really grown. He's got like a whole straightaway now. Maybe a little bit of both. Oh, unless he... Is this... Uh... Well, let's see. We could try to figure it out. Oh, because I think he put... I think that's Coop. So I think Matt went a lap down. So I think 
We got some lap traffic action, which may play a role here. Um, back to it. For a battle for second place. I think Matt already... Did he already get lapped by them? Oh, he did. He did. Okay. So, yeah, maybe that might have played a role there. But as you can see, the gap between Elite and Luke is still pretty big. Roman here. Oh, wow. Some action here. But this is lap traffic. They're letting... Yep. They're letting detail go by. It's Coop and Armada. I feel like Coop and Armada have been kind of close for a bit now. Detail just cruising on by. Putting on a really good performance right now, and it's looking like he's going to lock this one in. Uh, as long as there's no... Well, I mean, hell, even if there is a caution, he's in a really good position, to be fair. But yeah, trying to pick up some momentum on the season. Really good race last week, and now trying to carry that over into the Milwaukee Mile. And so far, so good. Doing very well. On the ovals in general, he's been... Been uh, very good on the hog ovals, and I mean, not that he's he's good on the the goose ovals too, but I honestly feel like he's been the most consistent probably on the hog ovals so far. As early as we are into him, I mean, obviously we haven't done that many races, but he's picked up quite a few wins. So five laps to go. Detail to take his fourth moto win of the season if he can hold on to it. Meanwhile, Soul and Hunter, Soul getting the slide job on Hunter, trying to hold on to that position and being. Bring Roman... What the hell? Where did Roman come from? Roman's in this battle now. And right there... Right, by the way, right there, perfect example with those breaking points, what I'm talking about. That did not help Roman. But it ends up helping him, and Hunter might lose two positions here. Oh, and Soul's on the outside. Oh, my God. Looks like Roman's going to get Hunter as well. Looks like Roman's going to get Hunter as well. And those spots have swapped, and now... Uh, I'm not sure if this is some big gains or some cheese from Elite, but now the battle for second place, a podium spot has finally opened up. We've been, uh, you know, the podium spot's been pretty set this race, but three laps to go, Elite and Luke, and it's on. And no matter how this plays out, I gotta say, like, Elite, the fact that he's in this position, just running this strong podium run in his first race back and never raced the Hogs before, that is pretty typical. That's crazy, so... I gotta give credit to Elite on that. Let's see if we can hold on to it. Luke to the inside. Now it's gonna be close. Two laps to go. It's battle. Culminating to the end of the race. Oh, and I think he's gonna get it because Elite. Well, it was looking like Luke would clear him anyways, but it was gonna be close, but Elite hit some lag cheese on the very last couple laps. That is unfortunate. So it sucks because that battle was hype, but it ends up being kind of killed a little bit by that. But still nice to see that battle finally play out. Meanwhile, Detail, looking very fast, looking very thick, going to take the win. There you go, fourth win on the season, or fourth moto win on the season, rather. Second will go to Luke, and yeah, I think Elite got hit with another one, too. Another another lag spike on top of the one that we already saw. Third, though, fourth for Slaunch, fifth for Camby, and Roman ends up taking, well, was it? Oh, no, 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 that was Matt, so Sol, Sol ends up taking sixth, Roman takes seventh, Hunter takes eighth. Uh, Coop 9th, Armada 10th, and Matt 11th. I think Matt had a, a wall incident at some point. Um, but yeah, that back, that back battle was really good for a little bit. Wish I could have went on the whole race. I think they would have had a really good one there. Uh, but there you guys go. It was, a <laughs> it was a pretty good race, honestly. Kind of refreshing. I, I totally didn't mind it. Having a, a green the whole way, uh, oval hog race. Uh, a little different. I mean, these happen sometimes, right? These ha randomly, like, these will happen sometimes. And we got one here at the Milwaukee Mile again, even though it was a different version of the track happened in Reach as well. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of nice. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Uh, some single wides, but for the most part, there was, there was good battles and, like, action going on the whole race. That's really nice to see. Uh, glad that it worked out that way. That's the detail on the Moto win. Luke and Elite picking up some podiums. And, yeah, I can't say it enough. Elite taking a podium first rate like that is just freaking crazy that is freaking crazy so you got to give it to him on that um but hope you guys enjoyed it and don't miss moto 2 and we'll see if we uh if we do another clean and green run or if we get some caution action there on this track but so far so good and see you guys there